learners and welcome to my new video. Today our topic is motion. We're going to learn about what is motion and different types of motion. So let's begin. Motion. When we say an object is moving, it is always with respect to another object. For example, when we say a vehicle is moving on a road, it is moving with respect to the trees and the poles on the road which are not moving. When you say you are at rest or not moving while reading a book, it is with respect to your chair or your desk. When an object moves, it's positioned with respect to another object, changes with time. Let's take an example of a car moving away from a building. When the car is at position A, the distance between the car and the building is very small. As the car moves away from the building, position B, its distance from the building increases. Another way of saying this is that when the car moves, its position with respect to the building changes with the time. An object is said to be in motion if its position with respect to another object changes with time. Types of motion there are different types of motion, translation motion, rotational motion, periodic and non-periodic motion. First comes translation motion. A type of motion in which all parts of an object move the same distance in a given time is called translation motion. Examples are vehicles moving on a road, a child going down a slide and a bird flying in the sky. Translation motion can be of two types, rectilinear and curvilinear. The table shows the difference between the two. Rectilinear motion is when an object in translation motion moves in a straight line. Curvilinear motion is when an object in translation motion moves along the curved path. Example for the first is a car moving on a straight road and a train moving on a straight track. Example for the second would be a stone thrown up in the air at an angle and a car taking a turn. Number two, rotational motion. When an object moves about an axis and different parts of it move by different distances in a given interval of time, it is said to be in rotational motion. Example of object undergoing rotational motion are the blade of rotating fan, merry-go-round, and blades of a windmill. When object undergoes rotational motion, all of its parts do not move the same distance in a given interval of time. For example, the outer portion of the blade of a windmill moves much more than the portion closer to the center. Number 3. Periodic motion. A type of motion that repeats itself after equal interval of time is called periodic motion. Example of objects undergoing periodic motion are the 2 and 4 motion of a pendulum, the earth rotating on its axis, the hands of a clock, the blade of a rotating electric fan, and the plunk string of a guitar. Number 4. Non-periodic motion. A motion that does not repeat itself at regular intervals or a motion that does not repeat itself at all is called non-periodic motion. Example of non-periodic motion are a car moving on a road, comma, a board gliding across the sky, and children playing in a park. In everyday life, we observe more than one type of motion like birds gliding across the sky translational and non-periodic, rotation of the earth on its axis, rotational and periodic. Hello learners and welcome to my giveaway videos. Now like other people on YouTube they might give away their maybe technological gift, maybe a camera, maybe some kind of voucher and so on. But for me I believe for a student the best giveaway you can give for them is the notes because me myself being a student once and I am still, 
I believe that having a right kind of notes for any grade will help the children to develop their own notes and learn from it. Now since small, I have been known, uh, I have been known in my school for having amazing notes. Now here I share with you my class 6 notes of two different chapters of science, getting to know plants and separation of substances. As you can see, this notes are, has been amazing. They are everything you might require to learn from and it has been checked by my teachers when I was in your grade so it can say it's approved by our teachers as well and also if you want more such notes from me of all different chapters of all the grade from class 5 to class 8 let me know in comments down below and please do like share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future until then keep learning and thank you